So this is the day chart, time unknown, of uh, Ron DeSantis, Florida governor, also known by some as either Death Santis, probably for his COVID competence, and the Satan for much the same reason, or because perhaps of what he just did, this uh, stunt in which he sent immigrants to uh, Martha's Vineyard under false pretenses. In fact, now lawyers on the Democratic side are accusing him of fraud. And unsurprisingly, he was doing some kind of cooperation deal with another GOP tool by the name of Greg Abbott. But the question is, when you look at his chart, how smart was this, this maneuver? And the thing is, his transits are pretty dicey, much like Judge Cannon, the video I just did prior to this. You can see that DeSantis is on a Pluto square to his Mars. That's one challenging dynamic aspect. And you see the Saturn roaming around the moon. We don't know exactly where this moon is. It could be anywhere between 15 and almost the end of Aquarius, but anything from, let's say, 16, 17, 18, all the way to the end, catches this Saturn and therefore becomes a problem. Neptune, at the moment, is past the opposition to his, to his sun. So in that sense, it's a little less complicated, but because it's due to come back pretty close to these degrees later this year, it's still effectively in that aspect. And it's also at the same time already connected by 150 quincunx, also known as in conjunct to his Mars. None of those are good. They tend to be more on the challenging side. And so essentially, there isn't a lot happening here that makes a play like this safe in any way. Moreover, his Sagittarius uh, Neptune is in a square to his son at birth, suggesting, again, without a birth time, to possibly come up with a chart that would ameliorate this interpretation. But in a square, Sagittarius is the uh, sign that would connect you to immigration. So if you have a Neptune Sun Square, you probably should be careful doing something like this because you can get on the wrong side of the issue. This guy, by the way, the reason he is, or one of the reasons he is known as you know, combative, pugnacious, in your face style governor, you know, like a little Trump of sorts or the second Trump. Uh, is because much like Trump, his sun degrees, in Trump's case, the sun is in Gemini, but also around these degrees, and that catches the U.S. Mars. So in Trump's case, you get a conjunction to the Mars. In DeSantis, you get a square. So he wires into the U.S. anger, so to speak, or a portion of the U.S. anger, certainly the, the MAGA faithful, you know, who are essentially behind them, though for the moment apparently more behind Trump than him. Either way, bottom line, the timing of this is not good. And don't be surprised, and in that sense in a good way, if it blows up in his face as a result and become something that he thought would be some kind of asset, but in fact becomes a liability. And this stunt is predictable in the sense that you frequently see the GOP do this when things are not going well for them politically for some reason. The news lately has been problematic, so then they start a fire somewhere else in order to distract and potentially take political advantage. The problem is that this particular stunt involves what amounts to a form of human trafficking. So I sincerely hope that it blows up in their face because it would be fully deserved.